All right, we got to talk about this. You're watching the Black Wonder Channel, where we discuss current events, geopolitics, and much more. Louisiana State took on Iowa. They won their first ever in school history to LSU, but the story quickly became Angel Reese signaling to a ring finger in triumph, then performing the You Can't See Me John Cena-ish move at Iowa's Caitlin Clark, who was in foul trouble a majority of the game. The refs were awful, by the way. So many disproved of this, right? They were not happy with it. Like Jose de Jesus Ortiz, founder and editor-in-chief of Our Esquina. This is classless, he wrote. Taunting Caitlin Clark like this shows a pure lack of class. Win with class, lose with class, play with class. Clark's mom and dad can be proud that her daughter ignored the taunting. They raised her right. I find this very odd, and here's why. Two games prior, in Iowa's 97-83 win over Louisville, Clark did her signature, you can't see me at her rivals. She told the Cardinals as Haley Van Lith, I believe they're Team U.S. teammates, you're down 15 points, shut up, in that game as well. So at the Final Four, Clark gave a hand gesture to South Carolina's Raven Johnson in the semis. In essence saying, shoot it, go ahead. But you can't, I'm leaving you, screw you. When confronted, Jose claimed, it's not the same. Like taunting isn't taunting? Are we real? This is what we're doing now, really? Then there was Keith Olbermann, who had, as he would later admit, a bad moment. Above a Sports Center tweet showing Reese doing her thing, the longtime host wrote, what a effing idiot. So when many checked, Keith Olbermann, he would say this. I apologize for being uninformed last night about the backstory on this. I don't follow hoops, college or pro, men or women. I had no idea about Clark. Both were wrong. A few points. First, why are you commenting on something you don't know anything about? And secondly, I would argue both were right. Have your fun. Talk your talk. Do your thing. Why wouldn't you? Who cares? Samuel Jackson, by the way, got a shot in for completely logging off of Twitter. Out kicks Glenn Gilbo. You likely know where this is going. Move the goalposts, writing the following. Clark's antics were during games. Reese was clearly out of line because what she did was after the game. Wrong. Speaking with the media afterwards, Reese said, all year I was critiqued about who I was. I don't fit the narrative. I don't fit in the box that you all want me to be in. I'm too hood. I'm too ghetto. You told me that all year. But when other people do it, y'all don't say nothing. So this is for the girls that look like me, that want to speak up on what they believe in. It's unapologetically you. It was bigger than me tonight. Glenn didn't like this impassioned speech. Writing, she went on an Angel Reese immature diatribe, adding, sounds like you do care about that, Angel. You listed two of the awards you didn't get, and you sound jealous of Clark, who is better than you. To follow up on that, Reese would tweet after the game, I'm too hood. I'm too ghetto, I don't fit the narrative, and I'm okay with that. I'm from Baltimore, where you hoop outside and talk trash. If it was a boy, y'all wouldn't be saying nothing at all. Let's normalize women showing passion for the game instead of it being embarrassing. All this stemming from Clark doing her antics on the court, nothing out of bounds. Then Reese mocking Clark with her own taunts. What is also incredibly noteworthy as Twitter user Left sent this notes, just two days ago, ESPN produced a segment called Caitlin Clark, Queen of Clapbacks. The focus, her clapbacks. You're down 15 points, shut up. And of course, the you can't see me hand wave. Her trash talk was embraced. It was celebrated. And yet here we are today with many in the media going after Angel Reese for doing what Caitlin Clark did. I am going insane with this. This is BS. It's madness. Thank you for watching the Black Wonder channel. If you found value in our content, please like, subscribe, and share.